These two sides, we saw each other twice last year, each able to pull a victory on the other's home ground. Why? Because Seattle does leave that space. There's no way through the middle with defenders like Dan Creel and Tavita Lepetti just solid in that seawall. Yeah, the seawall advantage for Utah on the side. They won just three of eight home matches here a year ago. They're already one for one, but it's Utah on the front foot. The Warriors inside the 22 looking dangerous. And this is exactly what you talked about, Mark, getting it out wide. They have the speed. Mike Mateo, one of the best in the entire league. And now just meters away are the Warriors from finding the opener very early in. Loops up. And then maybe an international outside. Lance Williams, the fan favorite. Unable to strip number six of it. Quick to the breakdown, Saunders. He gets to start at scrum half tonight in favor of Christensen. Saunders did a very good job coming off the bench last week in the second half. His side just two points away from completing that comeback in San Diego. Seawolves bowing their neck for the time being, trying to find something. Makani, the young Kiwi, the former U-20 All-Black. And this ball on the turf, but still with the Warriors. And here Damian Schneider, knock on in the tackle. Tail. Me Smith to Alatimu, the big boot, to come away with any points. And on the road, in a hostile environment like this, you simply have to make the most of those opportunities. Smith. And this ball on the turf. Seattle coming away with it. Duncan Matthews unable to find any space. Breaking through Landry, former American football player. Very impressive round one for him. Also, MLR first 15. Now it's Seattle turning the tables inside the 22 of the Seawolves. Can they find something? Yosefo. Unable to skip through the tackle. Gordon. Nowhere to go. The wall of red jerseys there to meet him. Very well organized for the time being. Vandenberg with the tackle. Now looking to go wide. Bit of space, find their men to Seattle. Well defended by Utah. Hans. Hans. The rug is already formed. Hans. Momentum's building here. From last week, who's all time the highest scoring team in the league, is clean line out taken. Mall form. Fans exhorting their side. Can the Seawolves find the opening points? Advantage for Seattle. You hear Schneider saying, Bind changed. Trying to find a way through. Lopetti that time. Still shy of the try line. Heavy carry across in. Big thanks to Matt Trubel alongside the Seawolves Director of Hydration, Matt Turner. <laughs> Obviously the most impressive water boy just about anywhere, but it's Seattle looking for more. They've already found the opener. It came in the 14th, courtesy of Rico Having. And just seconds out of the hydration break, the Seawolves inside the 22, but it's going to be a whistle against Seattle, not releasing. And didn't they need that, Utah? Once again, just clinging on for dear life. Seattle looking so strong. Very direct with ball in hand. And I think that was Yuri. Able to find Uhila. It's okay, it's a legal suck. It's a legal suck. First receiver met immediately. Williams. Nowhere for Lance to go. Teo, oh, what a little offload of Ugakoto. Vandenberg trying to find a few extra meters. Makani. Now back to the open side. Williams again. Met immediately. Advantage for the Warriors. Entry and off your feet. Entry and off your feet. Hey, mate. Glubsa up and through. Aaron, who's able to steal it. All the way back, Duncan Matthews looking to run out of his own end. 
Yosefo now, Yosefo, electric. Martin Yosefo across the 10, Yosefo down the near touchline, finds the offload. Sea Wolves are in business, but they need support. Comes at Meta immediately, and here comes Malcolm. Malcolm just meters away. Lopetti, out it goes, able to find Penny Nakai Penny with the try for Seattle. Sensational stuff, Seattle. And I doubt that would be a true reflection, really, of what's happening if they go in and it's 14-10. But let's see what happens. Ohila. Makini, unable to get away. And to find a bit of space. Difficult at the current moment. Van Vuren wrapped up immediately. Seattle's defense. Impressive work from the seawall. Another kick through the chase. He's running straight. No. Don't do that again. And Fisher. He's running straight. Thought he was interfered with. Here comes Seattle. Body's available. Smith. Alatimu able to pick it up. Back to Smith. Smith. Neal. Here comes Ross Neal. Ross Neal inside. Finds his target. Looking to get it across. Schneider there. Is it held up? Time off. Time we will see. Time off. What's your prediction, Kit? I saw from here in fast motion. Hatting. Damien, can you hear me? You dominate, I give you the penalty. I will have a look. Okay? Yeah, shut up. There is no clear evidence to overturn your decision. Okay. No try. Held up. Half time. What a turn to end it again, but really attacking nicely as well. But let's see if Utah can do something with this possession right now. Utah looking to come out from the whistle to start this second half and find points immediately. Warriors notoriously a second half side. Across, Schneider there, held up, says our referee. Well, he was right on the spot, wasn't he, Kit? Right there, he didn't need to go to the TMO. He could see that there were... Well, Gila again gives it a go. Williams, he wants it instead. They went with Wilson. Ohila once more. Barrows through, tries to get by Lopetti, cannot. Bounces out, found by Fale. But already a try to his credit tonight, had it in the 34th. Advantage for the Warriors. They need to find a try here. Looking outside, Teo, Teo across. No, just shy. Utah still been able to break through. Utah have not been able to find their way through. There is a Seawolf down on the pitch. Here's his edit on Yellow Tupo. Out wide. McInerney lost it. We will come back for the scrum after the knock on. Unbelievable defense. Just fearless. I'm watching player after player racing out of the line. Let's have a look, Mikey Teo, just denied. That was good play from the scrum. Look at that defense. Okay. The number 10, Alatimu, try saver. Oh, and here's where they just race off the line. They pick the player no, no, and make... I don't know that Utah will be able to find a way back. Alatimu raises the flags. He stays perfect, a massive... Now Teo again. Seattle not allowing him any space. Uhila fins off one. Uhila. Quickly there. Whiting. Utah inching closer to that try line. Lance Williams trying to get across. Williams. Stay inside. Stay Utah inside. right there. Still short. No, across and down the try from the Warriors on the second attempt. Two successful conversions, one successful penalty goal. Plenty of distance. 
We have had everything this evening, and now to top it off, the cherry on top, the broccoli on top, I should say, of our vegetable Sunday broccoli guy. And here comes Mikey Teo. Teo has not given up the ghost, nor would you expect that he would. McEnany unable to find any space. Unavuli. Quickly there, Saunders. Vandenberg trying to get it out wide. They will into the hands of Goff. Chad Goff through one. A hooker, Chad Goff with the try. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a hooker playing on the wing. You see Smith sends it to touch. And there is the final whistle. The Seawolf holds and the Seawolves start the season 2-0. Oh, 